welcome to Arbat Short Film Club, Tarun. Uh, so thank I you, guess all you. of us have already watched his film. Uh, it's a very beautiful film. I personally loved it a lot. Uh, thank you. So uh, I guess we should start our uh, with the questions. Is everyone here? Sure. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, uh, yeah, so um, in the opening shot, uh, you have shown a northeastern lady commenting on the protagonist of the film when he just right. uh, yeah. like comes out of uh, his house. So there's an, uh, a very interesting paradox there that uh, the northeastern uh, community is always uh, racistly slanged in our country, yeah. and she's yeah. commenting on a uh, on a on a black person. So yeah. how did you like how did you uh, design it or what was in your mind when No so actually this was uh, <clears throat> she's also our costume designer Oh okay uh, <laughs> yeah and uh, the idea was that you know uh, you know you move from one place to another and then you're being discriminated upon uh, Yeah but then once you're used to it you start doing the same thing with the other people and that's yeah, not yeah. very that's that's not very intentional that's very that becomes very regular for you or for anyone uh, yeah. for example i've had my experiences in in north america uh, you know when i was walking alone so uh, and and you know people from different ethnic groups have uh, commented um, yeah. Uh, yeah you know certain things about me so but i i mean i i try and understand you know how this is working it's uh, you can't blame one person it's it's the whole society uh, you know where you're living in because then you become like that and if you don't become like that you're an outsider yeah yeah true so that was that was the idea so we we had also put it very subtly because uh, yeah. you know, her face is shown for less than 1 second yeah. Uh, yeah yeah in the frame and but but the idea is that you know what she's conveying uh, to her child, which will remain with him forever, uh, yeah. w was something that has happened with our actor. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So lived. that was going to be my second question. So was this a uh, like a real incident, or was it inspired uh, with some incidents, or how did you come up with the story? So there were like most of the incidences in the film in the story are real, which has happened okay. with somebody or the other. And okay. we had just, you know, uh, put it together to make one story like it's happening with one character. Uh, okay. Yeah. So most of the, like I had a story in mind, story idea in mind, which, uh, you know, a character walks, uh, suddenly lands up in one busy street of Delhi on a weekend. Mm. And this is a party place. And, yeah. you know, suddenly all eyes turns on him. And uh, that was the story idea. And I kept on developing the script while meeting, uh, you know, people, different people, uh, mm -hmm. students, pe you know, businessmen, housewives, people who go to church, uh, people who work there. Also, you know, uh, people on the fringes of the society. Like, and there are a lot of African students there. And yeah. I spoke to a lot of people in Bangalore, Somalia, Nigeria. And I kept, kept, uh, you know, collecting all the data about what they think and what has happened with them. And that yeah. is how I came up with the uh, script. Yeah. So it's a compilation of like a couple of events and yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, also at the start of the film, uh, he's getting a call from his mom and uh, like, it's a very homely, it's a warm uh, feel uh, then. And when he walks out and he like stumbles upon a guy uh, who happens to carry some packet of weed, and it falls down and uh, immediately everyone looking there starts to judge like he's the seller. So this uh, transition of the character, like he's getting a call from his mom. And then when he's out, uh, suddenly he's a peddler. So this transition like just uh, moves it. So uh, like, how did you design it? So no, it was the, uh, like the script structure. Uh, yeah. You know, once once the incidences were there in place, then we started picking and choosing. You know how to, uh, you know, initiate the story. How to start, uh, the with with this story with this character. How to introduce him, and then slowly, yeah. gradually, uh, you know, put him into one situation and the another and escalate it. Mm -hmm. uh, and the idea was how he will react in that situation, which he knew because mm -hmm. he has been to in that situation, and all of us. Uh, 
uh, you know have been aware of uh, mm. you know weed and everything in our college days and uh, so it's not a taboo for us you know it's not yeah. a taboo if somebody has dropped something and he's just giving it back to him he's not smoking it with him. yeah but for the for the cop for the cop it suddenly is like okay they have dealt uh, yeah. something suddenly <laughs> because yeah i mean up to, up till now he was lazily looking just looking around not giving attention suddenly he sees a black guy and he's like oh now there is a culprit mm-hmm. Uh, yeah you know so that was the idea and the call and the mom's call was the idea was you know it's a regular life for him it's like a regular yeah. uh, regular um you know situation for any teenager you know in mm. any any part of the world from anywhere in the world uh, yeah. you know wherever he goes uh, there is constant constant uh, you know your mom will constantly keep on checking yeah. uh, you know what are you doing why did you call why did you why did you respond to my call and all of that so he keeps getting that like it in real life also so mm. the idea was to incorporate his mother that that was his like in the photograph that was his real mother uh, oh okay. then, yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so uh, so i spoke to her also to find out what she does and she was telling me that she at least calls or texts him at least four or five times a day just to check yeah. on him. Yeah. yeah and he's just he was like when we shot it he was just 20 20 years old oh okay he's that young okay yeah yeah, yeah. he was still he was still studying then okay uh so uh uh like uh there's a surreal sound design uh, like just uh, when he like steps onto the street there's a sound design like which makes you feel ki ab kuch to hone wala hai ab kuch to hone wala hai and it uh, like keeps on building it so uh, like i would like to know ki kaise sound design aapne matlab uh, how did you design it so it's a it's a very sound design was a process uh, for us because okay. we did it at least thrice until we got it oh. right <laughs> yeah wow yeah so finally i got a fantastic sound designer uh, his name is abhik chatterji he's from srftii he's like a very senior guy and okay. uh, he he we kind of connected uh, you know together with the, with the idea and he kind of really understood it like what what we uh, wanted to do with it or what we should yeah. have uh, you know done with it so he came up with a lot of ideas and and of course the i gave him the initial uh, you know briefing that you know it's set in cold weather in delhi yeah. which is like extreme cold we shot it in january mm. december january oh, shit. and yeah this was and this was extreme cold and and you can see also see it in the visuals that it's very cold so so uh, and it's always very chaotic it's like especially on weekends in these markets it's very chaotic uh, so he knew what he had to do and then he came up with this design and i was like super happy because mm. um, before that we had a we had a rough design and i started sending the films to the festivals it was clean it was a clean sound and it also played at cinequest festival it premiered there but then after that i did oh. another like i redesigned the sound so okay. yeah then we came up with this so we finished it and then it, he he really did a great job in bringing yeah. out the character of the story because without the i mean i i personally work on sound a lot uh, <laughs> even, even in scripting uh, i always think of elements you know which can help move the story if there are no dialogues uh, you know create tension and all of that and yeah, that, that was also, also evident in amma meri also like yeah, oh, yeah yeah that feel was yeah. there yeah 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 so amma's sound was done by shajit koiri shajit sir has is a very uh, popular and fantastic sound designer he has done dangal he has done oh, uh, okay. okara uh, and all okay. all vishal bardwaj's films uh, mostly and mm-hmm. uh, yeah so he he loved he loved the cut that we sent it to him for a mind and he he agreed to yeah uh, collaborate yeah and he's a yeah. fantastic <laughs> uh so like uh, so uh, what were the challenges uh, while shooting with the foreigner because the protagonist of your film is a foreigner and how did you approach that how did you explain him your like your perspective of uh, a foreigner being seen or being like uh, judged on the street so how did it took it and how did you work with him yeah so <clears throat> as i said that he he is a student and mm-hmm. um, you know we auditioned a lot i personally f- 
found out and met a lot of students and through the through the du net du's network the university's network hmm. from the hostels and through friends and through from jawala university jamia and also uh, you know punjab jaipur uh, so i met more than 50 60 uh, people students wow. mainly uh, just and and without telling that i'm planning something i was just talking to them i told them that i'm doing some research uh so i was constantly trying to figure out like who can that person be like who can who who's not an actor first of all mm-hmm. but is willing to do it okay so for for that we needed to you know come to a midpoint to come to mm-hmm. a, a point where both of us agree that okay you know this is the reality and we should go ahead and showcase it uh mm-hmm. so with jude the good thing was jude uh is very sensible jude is very uh you know mm-hmm. jude picks up things very quickly and he's, mm-hmm. he he has a fantastic energy so uh there was no i mean he is not an actor but there was no resistance from his side we were pushing him a lot uh, okay you know because he was he was shooting on the real locations and at that time on while shooting he had to face a lot of things people were commenting we were people were throwing bottles at him Oh shit. So, okay. Yeah, that was going on. That happened a few times. And so but he he conquered it all and he knew at the end that you know this story needs to be told and then mm. he 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 was like that you know if I could be a part of like a small part of any of you know this movement or mm. you know against racism then I then I would be really happy and then he did a fantastic job. And Yeah, so really uh, has he that. screened at his home also? Like has he took this film at his home place also? So no he is in Bangalore right now he has okay. uh, when when it played in uh, ba- uh, Bangalore International Film Festival he sh- he sent the link to his mom and okay. uh, yeah his mom and his dad watched it and they loved it uh, yeah. and then he he showed it to his friends in India uh, and you know his people in uh, other students in the hostel and they also appreciated yeah. it yeah Yeah so about the chase sequence uh, which i felt it was very uh, like so uh, usually the chase sequence has shaky cameras like povs yes. and the camera is going in this this camera like tilts down or pans up it's a uh, like a, this way is very unique i have not seen a chase sequence like this so how did you like come up to it <clears throat> so again uh, you know my dop uh, indroni lehri who's a fti graduate he's also teaching in pune i think okay um, uh, he he gave a lot of inputs uh, he we designed it like there was a there was a lot of lot of things that we shot which is not there in the film in, in the chase uh, for the chase sequence we shot a lot mm. uh, but we were clear that you know we will not run after him run after the character we will not yeah. the camera because because it's an observational thing you know somebody is watching oh so so we try to keep that we keep shift between those perspectives like from mm-hmm. our main character to somebody is watching and yeah. and when this is happening with him it's it's like because he's not watching it he's going through it he's just reacting it reacting to it and mm. when he's reacting to it somebody else is watching so mm. that was the idea so that's why the camera was never mobile the camera was always stable on the yeah. yeah yeah so i guess the the same question is also coming in our chat ki the entire yeah. film is shot in at night or in the dark uh, so yeah. how did you like uh, manage to do that how do you come up with that challenge like shooting in the dark like technically so how I, it? yeah so i didn't think a lot uh, you know about it i i had shot amma during the day mm. <laughs> so so i wanted to do something at night <laughs> uh, yeah that was a simple idea for me so when i came up with a story which was set at night and all outdoors because i don't know somehow i'm scared of shooting indoors Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, I I think that I'm. I mean, in while indoors, I get stuck. I I uh, you know cannot move a lot. I get restricted a lot. But when I'm outdoors, I can go anywhere. You know, I can I can uh, you know it's it's less art direction um, <laughs> outdoors <laughs> than, <Yeah. laughs> than indoors. So that was the idea. But uh, you know, the team, uh, all the actors, all the production people, my co-producer. 
my dop my sound recordist uh, all of them were fantastic uh, we faced a lot of issues because we didn't have permissions and we were shooting uh, okay. you know so yeah the, so the cops were chasing us down and then we would run oh, away and then we would come back uh, and then if they you know then uh, so that was happening so all the chase sequence that we are shot with is just one cameraman and me Mm. you know hiding somewhere and then we ask them to run from like so we would ask them to run for a long distance and in that moment we would capture that small mo- movement yeah. uh, you know that was the idea so that went uh, well uh, so, so i guess there are no planned lights then i mean if no no nothing nothing oh except except the jungle sequence acha okay uh, except the jungle yeah there, there was nothing yeah everything was whatever there was available street lights tv light yeah. mobile phone light i guess it's yeah it's it adds to the feel like yeah i mean having an artificial light would have been more boring then <laughs> I, i mean i don't know because but we knew that we will we will not have the liberty to spend a lot of time and use artificial lights and set it up because the set was not controlled and yeah. we wanted to have a very small crew like a compact crew because yeah. otherwise lights and light men and everyone would you know show there um, so we were also very careful using a boom mic in the crowd because that would attract yeah. attention and most of the time we knew that you know we would be able to take mostly cup only two takes maximum and then we'll have to shift shift location if it doesn't it doesn't come out well you know we can't go back to the same location and shoot again hmm. so so that we did So how many days did you take to like shoot the entire film? Uh so there was a, a shoot for 3 days, 3 main day main nights and yeah. then after that you know 2 3 days for patch. Like one proper yeah. patch work and then you know, after that okay we have to take one shot. For example in the end shot where uh Brian is running on the road with the blood on his mm. shirt that was mm. taken on separate like a, on a very later stage on the edit. Okay. uh we figured out that we have to take one more shot of his, like his close up we had all the shots of his legs and everything and that is the time the camera is moving uh, yeah Because that's his, that's his yeah. pov so that was the idea that you know now he's feeling it yeah you know he he has gone through it so this was the first like the only one time the camera moved yeah okay yeah. uh, so i guess let's take it to the audience uh okay. uh apurva are they like do we have the questions uh we have uh, many reactions uh one question we have getting is how did you manage the dog <laughs> okay yeah so uh we we got very lucky there actually it happened the dog came twice and uh in one shot we got a we got a proper shot of him in focus so so we <laughs> used it and he came out of concern like he, and he came out twice like he came out once and then he went back and then we did a retake and he came out again <laughs> oh. this time we 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 were hoping that you know if he'll come then we'll do the focus because previously we were not ready for him Yeah, uh, yeah. But then this time, luckily, thankfully, he came, and then we were he was in focus. We sh- I mean, because in the show focus shift, and the other ca- other character enters. So yeah. We got really uh, lucky. Someone is asking about the uh, how much of the location sound is used, uh, like in the film, and how did you use location sound in the overall film? So, uh, uh, location sound, I I understand by location sound is dialogues mainly. Okay. So uh, no, yeah. so the like the environment and the setup of the the existing place. Have you very considered? very less? We did, yeah, yeah. We did, we we did record an ambience on separate days for you know three three minutes or four minutes mm-hmm. uh, everywhere on all the locations. But after that, all the folly and design happened separately, and we used we managed to uh, record the proper. dialogues at least about 70% uh, mm. of of them came out well and then after that we used the phone or sometimes the mics or sometimes the studio to get the other dialogues yeah, yeah. 
uh, there is one reaction uh, that irony of nelson mandela mark was very amazing oh thank you thank you yeah Uh, yeah hi hey hi uh, so great film tha, uh, and really loved the uh, love the movie um Thank so it, uh, actually t- i had two questions one is uh, you know as you said uh, the central character the person who's playing the central character is a non actor right so uh, my first question is uh, you know what kind of challenges did you did you face specifically with that uh, in terms of you know working with non actors and my second question is i think uh, probably you may have answered it a bit uh, uh, before but then just kind of talk about the atmospherics that you created because it it was really unique and it lent a lot to the feel of the film so just wanted to know more about that thank you sure 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 so uh, as i said being being a non actor jude uh, you know was really uh, pushing himself and uh, which made it easy for easier for us but uh, the great part was um, anurag arpura who is the actor in amma meri main main mm. actor he is also the executive creative producer of the film and he took on a challenge to train jude and he took his workshops for about a month uh, he also does uh, you know actors workshops and mm. uh, turns out he is a fantastic actor and a fantastic teacher and after one month of observing all the actors and you know being in that class uh, it really helped jude to come up with his own ideas you know there were there were few techniques that he learned that he knew that you know he can't be idle in front of the camera uh, so he was constantly doing like whenever he was very conscious about whenever the camera was around him and it was on and he would try and do something around it like move something look somewhere does like not not sit idle or not stare into space you know without thinking anything he was he was really working on that uh, apart from that the cha- i mean the challenge of course there there are challenges but there are also advantages that you know you will get a lot of things that you don't expect uh, from a non actor which will be very real you know which you can't recreate uh so i was really happy uh you know to have him there as well in the, in that department because he was like while shooting while when he was performing i was getting ideas okay now he has done that i can take this next shot you know because that will be the counter shot uh so you know he improvised the whole conversation on the phone um he he improvised you know his walk the way he was walking before and before talking to his girlfriend and after entering into the parking lot so all of that came from him i like for at sometimes i also feel that this could have, like it's maybe a little cliche that you know before and after but but for a non actor to go through that process and perform that way that to on a real location in a uh, you know indie uh, gorilla shoot uh, was very good for us so that and and the other thing you asked was central character sorry uh i wanted to uh, ask you about atmospherics what you created and that really lent well to the film right so as i said uh, as i said the uh, uh, basically it's, it's all it's all the magic of sound design my sound designer has done a fantastic job i was really 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 happy after uh, you know we he sent the final sound to check uh, uh, and then you know i could i could relate with the film better with that sound you know i could relate with the first scene and the end scene when the mom calls and the mom calls in the end you know suddenly there was this recall value and also the weather weather i mean this guy has never been to delhi he lives in uh, calcutta uh, but he understood the atmosphere of delhi's winter uh, very well so i i mean all credit goes to him for that you know for all the atmosphere that he's created yeah <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I guess uh like yeah uh so it was great having you Tarun uh Thank like you. for the second time we have enjoyed your film uh I guess <laughs> everyone has loved the interaction as well uh so um uh, what are your future plans now so are we expecting a new short film so what are you yes. working on right now 
yeah so i i like uh, i started writing uh, as soon as you know after march uh, and with a couple of friends and also my co producer she's also writing one film uh, so we plan to uh, there are couple of films couple of stories that we are working on uh, there is one which is locked which is on uh, uh, you know eve teasing and how we look at women like the like what is the north india mindset uh, you know so that is one short film that we are working on like we have like the script is locked we are just trying to figure out the logistics uh, and the second film uh, second story that i'm really excited about is is about a small kid um, you know a, a tribal in uttarakhand somewhere you know living in uh, you know some mountain and you know how she is dealing with things there and she has no she has no uh, resources there but she wants to become an astronaut oh. <laughs> awesome yeah. okay uh, so uh, i guess um, thank you for like uh, sharing your film with abad short film club uh, thank you make so another one and please share it again we'll love to have sure. it sure thank you thank yeah. you thank you okay there is there is, uh, there is there is one more reaction from avinash that he would it would be very interesting to show the film to the migrant students from other countries in india and catch their reactions also, yes. also can you please share your uh, mail id so that people can reach out to you they can share their reactions and whatever they want to share. sure sure i'm just i'm it, will it reach everyone yes. from here yeah. from the chat yes. box yes yes okay fantastic so uh, this is a very good uh, thing that abhinash is saying and we were planning to do that uh you know we started working on it, organizing this in uh in february and we were talking to noida international university and also there is one more university in noida uh and then we you know sent emails to jnu and jamia and other other places uh we were about to materialize one screening in noida but then due to lockdown everything stopped so if anyone has any suggestions or any uh you know Uh, lead uh, to give us you know where we can screen it i would like to do it all over india uh, after the festival run which is so it's playing in few festivals in september as well after the festival run we will try and do it in uh, you know few places in uk and definitely the us uh, definitely florida uh, and and many other places so but but we are you know are limited with our resources so um, any suggestion would be really well Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you Tarun. Uh thank you so much. Thank you.